let's process a payment through National General. So after confirming all the information on the Hawksoft, confirming that there's no balance, you're gonna left click the mouse to copy the policy number. Then you're gonna select the website. It's gonna launch you to the website. The robo form is always gonna show up. If the password is already added, just log in. Now you're gonna to go to find customer view policy. So you're gonna copy or you're gonna paste the uh, policy. It's gonna take you to the file. Always just confirm that is the right one. This one is expired, so this is the old policy. It renewed, so this is the right one. So just select the policy number and it's gonna it's gonna open up the actual file. For the monthly payment is easy, it's right in front of you. It says next payment amount of 8419. So just select make payment. For national general, it allows you to round to the next dollar. So you're gonna round up to $85. So at this point, you won't process anything. You'll advise the customer that his payment is $85 plus the $10, which is 95. And collect the payment first, collect the cash or process the debit transaction, have the receipt or the actual cash in front of you before you process a payment. You never want to process a payment and then collect the money because what if they don't have it? You're going to be stuck with a payment when you should have collected the uh, payment method first. So you're going to select agency draft. You're going to select agency draft and then you're going to make payment and it's going to, it's going to take you to another page uh, giving you a confirmation. Now we're not going to process the payment. This is just for training purposes but you still have to process, you have to complete the process by getting a confirmation number. As soon as you get the confirmation number, you're gonna print the confirmation and you're gonna have it in front of you. Now it's mandatory and it's necessary to have the actual confirmation of the payment in front of you because that's what you're gonna to use to process the rest of the payment uh, through the Hawksoft. So now you're gonna go back to the Hawksoft, you're gonna select payment, if this ever shows up, just press yes. You're going to select EFT to company. You're going to type in whatever your confirmation shows, which in this case, it was $85. And that's the reason why you need to have the confirmation in front of you. You, you want to make sure that you add the exact amount. If it's 85 and, a, and one penny, then you're going, to, you're going to type 85 and one penny. But in this case, it's 85 even. And then you're going to choose processing fee and you're gonna, you're gonna type $10. So the total that you should have in front of you, either through cash or debit transaction should be 95, which is the same total and it should match under your total invoice. Now, let's assume this is a debit transaction. You're gonna select debit and you're gonna, this automatically, it matches the top, so $95. If this is selected, unselected, then you're gonna process it by by selecting OK, and then you're going to print three receipts.